I also want to ask about Robin Roberts Presents Mahalia. What was that uh, like directing that, especially because you were trying to navigate all the COVID protocols? And yeah, it was interesting. I had a play on Broadway called A Soldier's Play running when COVID hit. And then so that ended and it, it forced me to come to Atlanta, which I, I live here, but 80% of the time I'm gone. Right. So now I'm uh, getting on my family's nerves because I'm home, <laughs> right, exactly. you know. But uh, for five months, I didn't know what I was going to do. Right. So I would wake up every day and I would I would say my prayers. I would meditate. I would listen to the music of uh, Mahalia Jackson because that's what I grew up with. And then, um, so I did that every day, you know. And that's I mean? how you were finding your peace and yeah, coping finding my with... peace. You know that. Then I would get on the Peloton bike and try to take care of my body. Then I would read. So I did the same thing for seven weeks. Then I get a call from Robin Roberts. Robin Roberts in the seventh week thereabout and says, hey, we want to offer you the Mahalia Jackson story that we're developing at Lifetime. I'm like, you what? want me to make a movie of Mahalia Jackson? And I've been like, listen, listen to our to music it. for seven weeks every day because I was fearful of what was happening during, of course. during the new pandemic. Wait a minute, she had no idea. You weren't like posting about it or- Not at all. That is divine and intervention. Then I, so I started that project uh, like a month after that in September. So I did that, that movie with Daniel Brooks and it was amazing. Got nominated for Emmy Awards and all that stuff. Won the NAACP Image Award for director. And, and then I, you know, I, did, I worked on the Colin Kaepernick story yeah. uh, with Ava DuVernay right after that. And then I did Dynasty. And, so, so the long story short of all this, I probably work more now than I worked pre-pandemic.